Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So as you can tell, I am still in Hawaii. I'm currently on Oahu. We're staying in this beautiful place here with a gorgeous view that I have to my left here. So I figured, why don't I just do my unboxing from Hawaii live here for you guys. Of course, you were watching this on delay, obviously, because I had to go home and edit all these videos. But I thought it'd be really special to film these videos live when I'm here. So if you want to check out what I picked up this time from Louis Vuitton, Hawaii. Definitely keep watching. If you are new here, thanks so much for checking this out. I'm a full-time working mom. In my spare time, I love making these videos on fashion, beauty, mommy lifestyle, in addition to reselling and luxury for sure as well. So if those kind of things sound at all interesting, definitely check out my other videos and please consider hitting that subscribe button as well. If you are returning, thank you so, so much for watching yet another video. All right, guys, so I've done a couple of these unboxings from Hawaii during my last trip here several months ago. I will link those videos down below if you want to check them out. As you all probably know, uh, here in Hawaii, there is a discount um, at a couple of high-end luxury retail stores. It's called informally the Hawaii discount. And it really varies store by store and potentially also depending on the item that you purchase. So at least according to my experience and talking to some of the sales associates here, here in Hawaii you can save at some stores close to about 10%, if not maybe a little more at some of your all-time favorite retailers. So definitely check out this um, little perk. And I think the reason to do that is they try to entice you know, tourists to come and shop in their store. They try to also make it a competitive market compared to the Asian market because we get a lot of Asian tourists as well from here. So I think there are a lot of reasons why they do it. It's a little bit, I don't know, not very transparent as to why, but nonetheless, I don't care. I get to save some money on my items. And other nice thing is Hawaii sales tax, I believe it's just a little above 4.7%. So depending on where you live in the country, um, this may be lower than your current state's sales tax. I think it's probably lower or at least as low as most states in our country. So that's another great perk, at least in California where you all know I live, the sales tax is about 9.1 something percent um, or maybe even higher, which is crazy. but. You know, that's about a 5%, almost a 5% or 4.5% savings um, compared to my home state tax. So if you're buying a high priced item, you know, that savings can actually add up as well. Enough ramble, I'm just going to tell you what I did at Louis Vuitton. So I purchased this from the Ala Moana Louis Vuitton, which is our big mall here on Oahu. I love that store. The other large one, of course, is on Kalakaua Avenue, which is actually where we're staying. Um, and that's in actual Waikiki itself. My personal experience, I like the Ala Moana store better. I don't know if it's bigger, but it seems huge. And mostly why I really like the Alamana store better is I think the customer service really is better. I didn't have an really all that great experience on the Kalaka Avenue store. So at least my personal preference is the Alamana store. And that's where I got this from. That's where I got my other items from in years past. So excited to share with you guys. This time, as you can see, I have this huge bag. I don't know how I'm going to get this back, but it's huge. Um, but I will take it back because, look, it is a limited edition, or I should say a special edition, a Hawaii packaging. So it comes in this really nice kind of lattice work, and then it has this little hang tag here. As you can see, it says Hawaii. This is, I believe, cardboard, but uh, it's made to look like their boxes. And it says Hawaii, so it's so cute. And I hadn't had this packaging before, so I'm happy about that. I'm first going to show you this little cute thing that my sales associates gave to my daughter. So in this mall, you'll see if you come here, there are tons of things to do. So my three oldest kids and my husband always go to this place called Jungle Fun, which is an arcade uh, near the food court. So they went there and then in order for me to go shopping, I had to agree to take my youngest child, who's three and a half, with me because it's hard for my husband to watch you know, all four kids at the same time, especially a three-year-old in a pretty big arcade. So. I said, all right, I think that's fair. So I took her along with me as I always often have to. So we went into Louis Vuitton and of course, you know, if you bring a three-year-old in, everyone's gonna have to make a comment like, oh, how cute, oh, da, 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 right? So, um, so that's what happened. Uh, 
I hope they don't mind, but of course she inevitably touched the mirrors, touched the display cases a little as much as I tried to avoid that. But they were amazing with her and they said, let me give you your first little Louis Vuitton bag. So they gave this to her and inside they also um, gave us some perfume samples. So they let her kind of sample these and I did as well. I've found some of these before, which honestly I haven't used, but I'm always happy to take some of their samples. I really love their perfume. They are really, really nice. I haven't purchased a large bottle yet, but I may. Um, so I don't know, I just did a little few samplings of the perfumes that she and I got to pick out. And I mean, this is just so cute. So she was so proud carrying this around. Of course, when I met up with my kids and my husband, they're like, you gotta be kidding me. They're like, this is crazy. Why are you introducing her to all this stuff? <laughs> but it was so, so cute. So this is her little souvenir from our day there. Put this aside here. <laughs> all right, so here is my souvenir from that day here. And of course it comes with the receipt and I have my sales associates card. And I will reference this for the price point because I will let you know exactly what I paid and compare that to mainland pricing as well. All right, so let's just remove the box here. Okay, so I will also say that they did also throw in their newest version, I think, of their little magazine, which is really nice, kind of a coffee table kind of magazine, but it has a bunch of stuff, which I will probably thumb through, but it's a really nice magazine. And of course, here's the beautifully wrapped box that a lot of us know and love. Um, it's really wrapped gorgeously, so I will unbox this. And this is a live unboxing. I have not unboxed this since I got this home yesterday. So I will take this off and finally show you guys what I picked up. Okay. Here is the bag. So to drag this on even more, I will say when I walked in there, I didn't um, expect to purchase this. I had seen this online. Um, spoiler alert, it is a new release, which I'm excited about. Probably already knew that from the thumbnail. Um, but, uh, you know, I had seen it online. Actually, you know, I take that back. I don't think this version even is online, at least at the time that I'm currently filming this. Um, the other colorway is online, so that's how I'd seen it. And I'd seen it, I think, in a couple of Shop With Me YouTube videos that I was watching from Louis Vuitton. So I had seen this. And in those videos and online, the style just really caught my eye. So I wanted to, just in the back of mind, kind of check these items out if they had them in stock. I really went in there for a couple of things. I was probably going to get some SLGs. I was looking at one of which was the Kirigami uh, pouches that I've always had in my eye, just haven't um, splurged on, and some of the cosmetic bags, which I have seen before. So I walked in there. I will say the Kirigami pouches, I decided to pass on. I think they're beautiful and probably very versatile. What I didn't like about them when I checked them out was I don't think that they're very sturdy. So I don't know if you guys all agree if you have them. I think um, they were definitely more pliable than I thought, and I wanted a little more structure to them. In some ways, I think pliable is good because you can fit more things in and can mold to places, but for me at least, I was a little surprised by that, so I decided to pass on those. In exchange, I picked this up. So let me show you what this is. All right, so as you can see, this is the new release, Fall For You collection, I believe. And this is a Speedy Bandolier. And the colorway here is what's special to me. It's the Beige Claire. I mean, look at her. This is gorgeous. Just take a look at this new Speedy. So it's a Speedy 25 Bandolier, as you can see here. And this was just released. My sales associate mentioned that this particular colorway is very, very limited. She even called it limited edition. And I've seen online, as you will see, the other colorway is black with a pink uh, monogram, which I think is gorgeous as well. In a lot of ways, a lot more practical than this bag will be for me. But, you know, I just was drawn to this particular colorway. The black version and the, with the pink monogram, for me at least, was a little bit too bright, in my opinion, just because the pink really pops on the black, which I think is beautiful. But for me at least, it was a little bit too, I would say, kind of out there. So I really, really was drawn toward this color, though, because I think it is a neutral. I don't have any 
Damir Azure Speedy Vandaliers. I have monogram and uh, Adine prints. So I've done a video before comparing my Speedy 30s in monogram and Damir Bean, which I'll link down below. But I do not have any Damir Azure or white colored or light colored Speedies. And I also don't have a Speedy 25. So I always wanted to add a Speedy 25. The ones I have now are the 30s, which I love. But the 25 is one that I really wanted to add to my collection. And this just really caught my eye. It was in a display case as soon as I walked in and I made a beeline for it. I said, oh my gosh, you have this bag. I definitely want to try this out. And the sales associate mentioned to me that they have very, very few numbers of these that all the stores receive. So she actually even pulled out her phone and showed me how many of this item was available in all the stores across the country, even in Puerto Rico. So the limited stores that did receive this particular bag, they only got, as you'll see, one or at most two. So this large Ala Moana store had one on display, which I was looking at, and then this one in the back, and that was all that they received. Of course, they may get more shipments in the future, but at least for now, as she showed me improved, they were very, very limited in terms of where these were released. And I don't think this is even on the website, at least in this colorway. I saw the black one on the website, which was unavailable, but you could at least see it. This one you couldn't even see on the website, at least at the time of this video. So super stoked that I was able to pick this guy up. So let me just go ahead and quickly show you what it looks like. As you know, in this new version, they have this pocket, which I don't believe will fit a large phone, but that's okay. I can put my key fob or some small things in here. And it's a magnetic closure. It has a beautiful vachetta or vachetta which of course I need to be careful with, but it is gorgeous. It has the gold tone hardware. It has a strap and it's adjustable. And I will try this on for you in a few minutes and give you some mod shots so you can see what it looks like on. And then it does come with a little pouch and this should have the lock and key, I believe, which I have not yet seen. Oh, it's always nice to get a really fresh Locking key hardware, look how shiny that is. So this is just gorgeous. So I'm gonna put this back in. And then I do have this few tags here in case you wanna check this out. Um, here is the information. And let's see, here it is. Speedy Bandelier 25 and it's in the beige Claire. The FFY is fall for you collection. All right. And the inside, hopefully you'll be able to see, is very special as well. So the inside, at least in terms of the capacity, is a typical 25, just a big open pit there, fabric lining. But what's cool about this is a couple things. <laughs> One, of course, is there's the inside zipper pouch, the pocket. It's hard to show because the opening of this, of course, is the classic 25 opening where it's very tight be nice to kind of extend the zippers like they do on some speedies, but this one is not that. So let me show you if I can. One is, here's the made in tag. It's made in France, which of course is always a little perk. I don't care too much about these things, but it is a perk. And then as you can probably see, let's see, I wonder if I can just pull out the lining. And as I'm trying to hopefully get you to see, um, the lining is so special because it is printed with the uh, Louis Vuitton print and it has the LV and some of the floral designs. Um, maybe it's best, maybe I'll just try to pull out part of it here. So this is how the inside is lined. As you can see, they have this Louis Vuitton print on the fabric, which is super, super fun and unique as well. So I thought that was really, really special. So you'll see here's a little LV there. So yeah, it's really pretty and then it has the inside is this kind of light, uh, dusty mauve shade, I would say. I kind of like the LV coloration here is what the inside lining is. So I thought that was really special as well. So let me go ahead and zipper it up. And I want to show you guys what it looks like on and a few mod shots. 
All right, so here is what the bag looks like on, and I just have my little hallway hotel mirror here to show you guys. But I have it on the crook of my arm, and this is what the Speedy 25 looks like in terms of size reference. Again, I'm about 5'3", five, 5'4", five, in height. So I think it fits pretty well in terms of a crook of the arm bag. I have the strap placed on it, as you can see, but if I wanted to wear it to just hand carry a crook of the arm, I probably would take the strap off because it is a little bit distracting, I will say. Or what I do for these uh, bandolier speedies is if I carry it like this, sometimes I'll just grab the strap so it's not dangling. But see how it's so bulky? I probably will just take it off and throw it in the bag if I want to wear it hand carry. And because this is a 25 and smaller than my typical 30s that I'm used to, I think I am going to do a lot of hand carry with this bag. I think it's just so adorable. Um, so this is how kind of how it looks like in terms of size reference and hand carry style. And let me show you crossbody. Okay, so here's what it looks like crossbody. And currently it's on the middle setting in terms of the adjustability. So here's where it hangs on me. Um, yeah, this is actually a pretty good length for me. I may make it a little bit higher. I just like my crossbodies high for some reason. But here's what it looks like. So I think this definitely works crossbody. I am, of course, as usual, worried with light bags and color transfer if you wear crossbody. I don't know. Let me know if you have something like the Speedy 25 Bandolier in Azure. I'm curious to know um, if you have a lot of transfer in terms of color transfer. I'm hoping that because it's just the canvas, I'll be able to wipe it if I do get something on it. But that's one of my concerns. Um, but for crossbody, this works really well, as you can see. And then let me show you just the shoulder carry. So here is where it hangs, at least in the middle setting for shoulder carry. I have a couple areas of adjustability, as you can see here. So you can still make it a little bit shorter. But a lot of times, I really like this long, speedy bandolier shoulder carry. I think it's a good look as well. So yeah, I'm really, really liking this bag so far. I do want to mention, too, this bag is really reminiscent, I think, of the... Uh, Murakami special edition uh, print with the multicolor in the white because it has that pocket there and I think the look is pretty similar of course the hardware is definitely different and the colorway but I do like that look the pocket I think adds a lot of that so yeah this is how it looks like on all right, so hope you enjoyed seeing some of those really quick mod shots and seeing all the different ways to wear it. I think this bag is super, super versatile, and I'm so happy about that. Um, as I mentioned briefly in that mod shot segment, I do think this bag is reminiscent of kind of the old school multicolor white Louis Vuitton speedies, or the Murakami line, I believe it was called, the classic, you know, uh, rainbow type of LV colorway with this white color background. That one, of course, had different hardware here, but it did have pocket detail, which is why I think this particular silhouette really, really reminds me of that. And that's really the line that made me first fall in love with Louis Vuitton. That's kind of when I was growing up and just really loved the brand since then. So I think that's why I was just drawn to this particular colorway and also this little pocket detail. So. I thought that was kind of a fun um, kind of throwback. All right, so I'm going to quickly share with you price points. As I know I promised. I think a lot of you really are curious as to that because I know I wasn't watching these Hawaii Shop With Me videos. So this particular bag, again, it's not available in this colorway on the website. The black version, when you look it up on the website, retails for $2,630 US dollars at least in August 2022, which is when I'm filming this video. So $2,630. So here in Hawaii, um, I have my receipt here. It's a little bit of a discount. So the retail in Hawaii is $2,400. So based on that, you save almost just shy of 10% off of the retail price in buying this bag. And that does not include, of course, the potential tax discount you may save depending where you live. So again, I saved an additional about four, four and a half percent off of the bag as well. Plus, I mean, it's so limited that it's just hard to get, probably even in my home boutique too. So I think this bag was a win all around. So super happy, happy that I was able to score this one. So if you have any questions about this bag, of course, leave them in the comments below. I will always, per usual, do a full review video once I'm able to test this bag out quite a bit 
And I'll also probably some comparisons um, to my other speedies as well in case you're interested. So definitely stay tuned for those videos. Also stay tuned, I do have, I believe, a couple other unboxing videos live here from Hawaii to share with you guys from other design houses. So I wanna share those with you too in separate videos just so these don't get too lengthy, but make sure you look out for those as well. In addition, I did also put together my Hawaii vlog of this particular trip, so definitely uh, check that out too. I'll link those down below. All right, well, thank you for watching another video. I hope you had fun unboxing this beautiful new handbag with me. Thank you so much for your support of my channel, and I'll plan to see you in my next one. Take care. Bye.